Hello everybody, this is Lorenz Dean, aka Frank. Um, a couple of you people might call this a shoot, but this is something I definitely got to get off my chest on the serious side. Um, I'm one half owner of this company by the name of Tier One Wrestling. Now Tier One Wrestling was started between me and by this guy by the name of Dennis Long. In the beginning when Dennis Long approached me with this particular plan, we were supposed to be 50-50 partners, as you see, as far as document proof, that that's what it is, 50-50 partner. Um, he started speaking to me and telling me, oh yeah, if we, if we do this together, this is what's going to happen. All you got to do is help me out financially, purchase this, purchase that. Now let's talk about the purchases. We're talking about a wrestling ring. A couple of you guys have seen and been inside the wrestling ring that I've been, that I've purchase and own which I have proof um, he started he started using the wrestling ring and also I purchased a championship belt for a tier one company alongside every other thing that it takes to start off this company or a company in general this particular wrestling ring that I had right it was custom made wrestling ring it was made to do two things it was made to actually be a boxing ring and a wrestling ring. But you see, because the dumbass wants to do business behind my back, guess what he end up doing? He end up having the boys wrestle in a boxing ring because he wanted to be such a grind ball. And if he were to console in me, I would have told him simply, there's an extra piece underneath the ring that you could have just simply taken out. But you had guys taking back bumps on the rest in a boxing ring. How savage is that? Oh, by the way, Dennis cares about y'all. Yeah, right. Don't believe me? You'll find out. Give him a chance, why don't you? Started off going good. Once the items were purchased, the man started acting real funny. Hm, go figure. Me being me, didn't say anything. Just wanted to see how far this was going to go. Um... We also started and created a Facebook page by the name of James Devine. Now, the reason why this Facebook page, James Devine, was created was simply because to promote wrestling in general. And when I say wrestling, I mean wrestling in general. I don't mean not one particular brand. So if you take, if you take a look back on that Facebook page, you will see just that, that what I'm saying. Different companies were being promoted. Eventually, I had passed on fully control of James Devine to Mr. Dennis Long. And you will see up until that point when he took control, it was forget about everybody else and it's all about tier one, something that was not part of the plan. Okay. Um, he started doing other Facebook accounts, which I wasn't aware of, which he had me believe that that was genuinely real people. Um, one in particular, which I thought was a real Facebook account, come to find out it wasn't, Brett Newborn. Oh my God. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Brett Newborn is a fake Facebook account. So you might wonder why the hell all these fake Facebook accounts was created. Simple reason. It was created for a particular company that I was doing business with at one particular time in the beginning, still tight with them, by the name of House of Glory. Dennis, for some reason, has it in for House of Glory, and I'm saying that right now. And he also has it in for other companies as well. But for some odd reason, his main focus was always House of Glory. Every time House of Glory did something, he would come to my job. <laughs> this is a funny one. I'm going to take y'all back. Remember first time, I believe it was Amazing Red versus Rey Mysterio. Man came to my job, furious. Yo, Frank, we got to talk. And I'm like, what's up, man? What's going on? Yo. I can't believe this. Yo, we got to stop these dudes. This and that. How so great they did a show. They had like almost a thousand people. And I'm like, okay, they're supposed to do that. They got Rey Mysterio versus Amazing Red. That's it's supposed to happen like that. Yeah, but we got to do something like that. We got to stop it. And I'm like, dude, this is not what it's about. Focus on what you're doing. You see, it's something old school called mind your business. Don't mean that in a disrespectful way. Just mean mind your goddamn business. I find it very and impossible, excuse my language, but who cares? I find it very impossible for your business to grow if you're paying attention to the next man. Any real promoter would not hate that situation. They would actually collaborate with that successful promoter and say, yo, listen, how you get that done? Help me out. 
because that's how I am. And by the way, all you guys know a wrestler by the name of TJ Marconi? Well, Dennis Long also made a fake Twitter account talking bad about TJ Marconi. How do you like that? I wonder how many of these guys that he's spoken bad about behind these fake Facebook accounts that he really approached face to face and say, yo, I don't like you, I, di I hate this. I and you know what's sad thing? I associated myself with a man like that, which also kind of destroyed my credibility. Hopefully not that much, because people who know how I really am and how I get down, they know that I probably didn't know any better. But I'm just gonna leave it like that. The man, originally, we were supposed to do business together as far as when it came down to the school, when it comes down to tier one wrestling. All of a sudden, last time I checked, when you're a 50-50 partner, anytime you do a goddamn show, you're supposed to let your partner know that you're doing a show. You're not supposed to find out on Facebook like a goddamn fan. You're having a show. How the f*** that happens? So when I come to the man, respectfully, because that's how I do, I go approach the person individually. So when I go up to him and I say, yo, listen, what's up with this show? Oh, yeah, I had to do this. I had to do this. Guess what? I gave him lean way. So I said, all right, do me a favor. For the next show, could you please give me a warning and a heads up so that way we could collaborate both our schedule? Yeah, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work around you and stuff like that. Oh, now it doesn't work around me. But before you needed a wrestling ring and you needed a tier one championship belt. Hey, listen, by the way, I got a lot of things running in my head. No disrespect to the new tier one champion. But let me tell you something. That tier one belt means crap. I respect the other title that you're holding. You know who you are. Mr. Riley, no problems with you. Respect the other title that you have, but hate to inform you, you might as well dump that tier one title in the trash because that company ain't worth nothing. It's as useless as the official promoter because guess what? Dennis is in the crap and I'm out. Now, there's something that's very mysterious that and I'm not going to insult anybody, and I know you guys are very aware about this, but maybe I'm the first one that's going to come out and say, it doesn't matter, so be it. How in the world, and I need you guys to check this out, this is the funny part, how in the world tier one comes out with a video? First time coming out with a video, never debuted, have over thousands of hits, but barely 80 people in the crowd. What the hell is going on? Does that make sense? Have you ever heard of something called buying likes, buying hits? Numbers don't lie. When you go to the live show, you see the gate. Check out the gate for tier one, why don't you? You wonder why the last time, last, as a matter of fact, if you take a look back, the last two shows, the first two shows that tier one had, that was the only one that I was part of. I decided to step out, look at the numbers, how it decreased. I'm not trying to take credit for anything. Just want y'all guys to pay attention, use your brains. So, therefore, with that being said, Mr. Dennis Long, I'm letting you know straight up, like I was trying to do face to face, and not this video recording and Facebook stuff, because that's not what I do. Anybody that knows me knows I'll come knocking on your door and tell you face to face. You see, this is a little funny thing about the Lorenz Dean character, it's not so far from the truth. So you was avoiding me, so now you left me no other choice to do things like you would do. So I'm speaking your language now, boy. Have my ring back. Championship belt back. Guardrails everything back. Or else I will take legal actions. And you know it. Oh yeah, by the way, have a great day. Good luck to tier one.